I have flown on planes many times in my life, but I have never flown on Delta Airlines. Knowing that they're one of the big four airlines, I know tickets with Delta Airlines are usually not cheap. In my view, Delta Airlines is a premium experience driven airline, which certainly does not make tickets cheap. As a Spirit Airlines veteran myself, I want to compare how much more value you really get by paying 10 times more with Delta. So join me as I share my honest first experience with Delta Airlines, one of the big four. The main selling point on tonight's Delta Airlines ticket is the Delta Connection flight from Washington DC to New York's LaGuardia on an Embraer E-175. Being on a smaller jet like the Embraer E-175 will be a new aviation experience for me. And then from LaGuardia, we will be going down the coast back to my home base of Fort Lauderdale. As I was walking to the gate, I made a grim discovery, which was that the flight was delayed by two hours. So it looks like I'll be sitting here for two hours. And there's currently other flights operating, so I know it's not weather. Thanks, Delta. There are two firsts for me on this flight. First time on a small plane like the Embraer and my first time in New York's LaGuardia. So this trip should be full of surprises. So I made my way to seat 11C, which is the aisle, but nobody was sitting next to me. So I got to squeeze the value out of this flight. So I'm definitely going to sit on the window side if nobody's sitting there. The first thing I noticed when I sat down on the Embraer was just how small the wings were, how small the aircraft in general was. It just feels like a more personal experience. As we taxi out to DCA's runway 15, an unusual runway to depart from due to the congestion of the main 19 runway. Enjoy this short 40 minute flight from Washington DC to New York.
welcome to LaGuardia where the local time is 720. That flight right there is what I would consider an amazing aviation experience. We flew right over Manhattan with the sunset. So my first time landing in LaGuardia, my first impression is just how modern everything looks. This airport is huge. It has a bunch of terminals. This is right after they renovated Terminal B and added four stories and over 250,000 square feet of space somehow. So after landing this Embraer, it looks like we just kept taxing and taxing and taxing for what felt like half an hour. After getting off the flight, I had about an hour till the connecting flight. It took a nice stroll through this airport and it is highly New York themed, obviously. Two things that stood out to me about this airport is the abundance of windows. And I think more airports should utilize windows. And the security machines look really efficient because obviously when your population density looks like this, then you likely want to have some fast and efficient security. Everything about this airport just feels so new and renovated and modern, as it should be, as this is the third busiest airport in America, and it's not even a hub. As I arrived to the gates, they were boarding first class and comforty lights, and of course, basic economy, last where I was. One annoying thing the gate agent was doing is calling the two hour delayed time the new on-time departure, which I don't think is true. Delta, I think the on-time departure was the promised time when everybody purchased their ticket. If you notice on the ticket, you'll see my seat is seat 32E, so that is actually a middle seat. So I will not be having the window seat on this flight, but I persevered and still got plenty of footage. First thing I noticed on this Delta flight was the immediate demographic change compared to Spirit. Example, more people with laptops, more people dressing formal, and people with nice headphones. I guess it's the little things you notice when you fly with one airline. Wow, they really put me as far back of the plane as they could. I guess they don't take kindly to basic economy passengers. Ah. There it is, the trinket responsible for making the price of this ticket so expensive. Might as well play with it for a bit. But above all else, I'd rather have the flight tracker to see where I'm at. Now you're probably thinking, oh, time to taxi and then take off and then get back home in a timely manner, right? Right? Nope. It looks like due to this storm, we will be sitting on the tarmac for another two hours. I don't blame Delta for this because if you look out there, the weather's looking really gnarly right now. But what I do blame them for is for being delayed in the first place because if they weren't delayed in the first place, then we wouldn't be being delayed again on the tarmac in the second place. At least we have this Alabama bound Mitsubishi to keep us company. However, there are some uh, cells, as you call them, storm cells. I don't believe that. <laughs> To prepare for a different routing out of here and give us a different routing that will allow us to leave. So it looks like out yonder over there is supposed to be the Philadelphia area. Eh, 
This was a largely uneventful flight, dark skies and clouds throughout. The meal service came by and I got the granola bar and cranberry juice. I will admit, very good refreshments, but not worth hundreds of dollars more. I would like to point out, I was able to watch the entire movie of Sonic the Hedgehog because some kid in front of me was watching it from the Delta movie selections. It looks like I won't need to hit the theaters for that anymore. That landing was so smooth you couldn't even hear the tires make contact with the runway. Smooth like butter. Good job Mr. Pilot. It is very late here at FLL. It is about 2 in the morning by now. There's no flights leaving or arriving at this time. So he basically arrived into a ghost airport. So Delta Airlines is not my first choice. I'll probably be flying Spirit until they go out of business. Thank you for watching to the end. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below. I'll see you in the next one.